Good morning gamers. My god, have we got a story to tell today. Now I made a video on Muslim fella, I can't remember his name, he was that relevant to me the other day. And we exposed him for basically just being a piece of shit who treats everyone who isn't um, himself like dirt, women, anything else he doesn't believe in. Now apologies if you hear a slight snoring, that's my, uh, my friend's dog I'm currently looking after. Sat next to me but she's too adorable to move her so we're just gonna have to put up with it. So suck it up baby because this is my friend friend Bambi. Oh, she's so cute. But anyway, I thought what can get worse than that? And it turns out there are other people on this website called the internet that are even worse. Sneeko, uh, we all know what Sneeko's like, a bit of a um, drama queen, shall we put it like that? Someone who looks very tense right now, very stern, looks like someone's put something up his asshole and is sort of like controlling him from down there. And we've got this bloke on the left who had, pff, he's called M Hijab. So we'll find out what he's about. And let me just put it like this. What he's about is an absolute shocking, hocking thing. Uh, just listen to, we're going to break down the clip and see what he has to say but oh my life ladies no we don't think there's any problem with it at all we think that uh, it's just because we have a different idea of what it means to be a child which can be tracked historically but now if the situation has changed we say that the general principle in islam is you, you know you can do what you kind of want so long as i'm not going to say you can do what you want so long as you're harming you can do you can marry whomever you want to marry so long as it doesn't cause them harm, physical and psychological. So he's basically pointing out, because what he's about to say, basically, spoiler alert, is that you can marry anyone, whoever you want, at whatever age, which I feel is slightly preposterous. I feel the only reason people get married at such a young age is not because of, like, oh, it's human nature. No, it's because this is human belief and different rules. I guarantee when Adam and Eve sort of started out cooking, you know what I mean, back in the day, blah, 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 should we have a kid? Okay. I guarantee they got mar had a kid before they got married. It's only only because these Christians and all these religions have put in it that saying that it's bad to have sex after marriage and now people have just forgotten it. Now he's basically saying that it's better to have a wife who's 12 than to have a wife who's 100. And I am just confused as to, you know, as, and he said as long as you don't cause anyone psychological or physical harm. Bruh, what sort of person is not going to be harmed by the thought of that? You know what I mean? No one is going to get away with that. These poor girls are forced into marriages and then they, they pretend that it, they're not. Ugh, oh, they're not. They, they did it willingly. Shh, 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 just, just, you don't even let your women speak. You cover them up. They can't drive. They can't show their face. They can't show their skin. You know what? And then you're telling me, oh, they want to be in this marriage. Bruh. What are you smoking? So, for example, if I marry a hundred year old woman or a sneaker, if you marry with your tank top, a hundred year old woman, and you know, and you and you get involved with her intimately. He doesn't look very impressed, does he? He's like, me, marry a hundred year old. Look at me. I'm a stud. I'm a player. I'm a game maker. Look at the size of my fucking shoulders. I don't fucking do push ups every day after every fucking breath I take to be go out with a hundred year old woman. I want the young Poonani. I want the women who are sexy as fuck, boy. I don't want no hundred year old granny who's going to collapse any second depending on what the weather's like. Like, nah, I'm a sneako. Don't you know who I am? She might die. I mean, she, or she might have some kind of uh, health problem. So we would say that, well, if you if you were to be intimate with a 14-year-old or, you know, 13-year-old who's got huge hips and huge breasts and huge body, I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge is this man talking about? So let's say there was this 12-year-old girl, big hips, big boobs, and uh, big body. Sorry, that was racist. I can't sound like that. But he, just picture his voice. Big boobs, big hip, big body. And she was 12. Yeah, I'd marry her. He shut up, you weird freak of nature. Like, no one should be marrying a 12-year-old. What were you like at 12? I tell you what, now I was playing Minecraft. I was eating Cheetos. I was bloody drinking multicolored flavored drinks. Do you think you can make a good decision on life at the age of 12? I don't care if you're a girl or boy. Gender's no different. Getting married at that age is not healthy and cannot benefit anyone other than the man involved it's all about manipulation getting there before you know the the shop open shall we say you're first in line know you're mine at 12 years old and when you get to of age and all the normal people come knocking well you're already mine you are it's a it's a absolutely horrible to think about that it happens in these countries and i'm not a fucking bigot racist mate he's just said if you found a 12 year old with big hips and big boobs like what sort of freak says that and then puts it on the internet you know what i mean like I, my god you wouldn't even joke about that sort of stuff with your mates after a few pints like hey, this guy is saying it on camera with confidence with Sneeko on the show I mean quite frankly we would say uh, it's not it's not going to have the same effect medically I mean no one can make the argument but on in these countries where we live in now one is legal and one is both are one is illegal so for in other words you can't marry a hundred year old woman but you can marry that that girl that's you know with the, 
You can't be. This is, you're a pedophile if you. You can marry that girl with the, you know, the big, what I call it, big booty, big boobs. You're a pedophile. You are a pedophile, mate. If you marry a 12 year old and start boning a 12 year old when you're 25 or 30, you're a pedophile. It's literally the definition of a pedophile. You, s you know, may say, oh, this, this, this is normal. This is life. Bro, it's not normal. You know what I mean? I've not been brainwashed. You have. If you go for the girl that's got the hips. If you go for the girl who's got the hips. Fuck. Again, pedophilia is very relative. Pedophilia is very very relative. I'm not too sure what this guy does on the weekends, but I think it involves a crack pipe. I have, I'm have. i just I'm just saying, mate, if you think getting, you know, calling out a girl with big hips and big boobs who is the under the age of 12 and saying that you want to marry her before, you know, anyone else jumps the queue is just a joke, mate. And if you think that's normal, then, uh, you know, maybe I'm the donkey. Am I the old retard here? Do I think that, you know, is that normal? Do you think that's acceptable? No, mate. At 12 year olds, you should be enjoying life in school, having friends, not worrying about pleasing a fucking dirty dog of a man like him at the age of 12. It's, dis it's a joke. It's a disgrace. Look, this is not a dig at um, anyone other than this freak of nature calling out a 12-year-old with big hips and big boobs and saying that he would go for her at the age of, what, he must be 40 and she's 12. Like, oh, brilliant, mate. Thank you. You're doing so much good for your religion and your beliefs. Like, honestly, it's an absolute disgrace some of the things that these guys come up with in chat and pretend like it's normal. It's like, yeah, of course, I'd go for the 12-year-old. Well, w would you? Well, that's a, that's a problem, I'm afraid. Like, that, that is a crime and you've just admitted it on the internet saying if this girl had big everything and big you know features and she was 12 you'd still go for her you'd still beat all the other damsels and get in there like oh my god sometimes lads and ladies people just need to think about what they're talking about i understand religion's religion and i don't care about your religion i care about humans and people and if you're marrying a 12 year old and forcing them into a relationship and pretending that they want to be there when you don't allow women to speak is is just hypocritical mate it's a joke anyway like i said no hate just i'm looking at sneeko's face like what what am i listening listening to and I, I was thinking the same thing like this guy is talking about marrying 12 year olds like it's you know going to the shops and like buying a pint of milk like that's just not normal I, I I don't I don't understand why you think that's normal guys not you them him you know it's not normal is it like Sneeko he doesn't even think it's normal yeah, I mean this guy break Ramadan more than times than someone walking on ice breaks it this guy broke Ramadan easier than it is to break a papadom like fuck me this guy broke it quicker than it's easier to break a leg jumping off the Eiffel Tower this guy is not a Muslim and if you think he is then apologies for spoiling it. Anyway, leave a like, comment, and uh, just let me know what you think about this, um, you know, guy who wants to marry a 12-year-old with big bum and big breasts.